Hey, what's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Alex here. So right now, I'm just at the car wash and I do this pretty much every other day. And since I have a satin black vehicle, it's hard to maintain. It's always dirty. That's probably the worst thing about a black vehicle. So I'm gonna wash my car. We're gonna dive into it a little bit later about the coder intake my thoughts on it do i like it what do i think about it an honest review you know and i'm always straight up forward with, with everything and i always do what makes me happy with my vehicle so we'll talk a little bit about the code air intake what it's done and so on but right now like i said i'm at the car wash and if you have a black car and i'm sure you can definitely relate so let's get to the car wash real quick and then we'll talk a little bit about that cold air intake. Probably do a couple pulls so you guys can hear it. Uh, but let's get to this car wash. I'll see you in a minute. So I'm back here, just got done with the car wash. So here's a quick look at it. Then we're gonna go over the cold air intake and my thoughts. So here you go. All right, so it turned out pretty nice. Uh, so that's it when it's a car wash. A couple of videos ago, I did do a walkthrough of my mods and the list. So if you wanna check that out, go right ahead. I did that about last week, I would say. So here it is, the, the black IS350. A lot of these mods that I did do, uh, you can do it on pretty much any IS, but also different vehicles as well. Uh, but the main thing for me is if it looks nice and I'm happy with it, then I'm good. Uh, so that's that. Uh, let me pop the hood and go over the IS350, the coder intake that I have. So, all right, so here it is, the engine bay. And the one that I went with was the engine coder intake. This one's for the IS350. The IS350 is a V6, about 311 horsepower, and it's not it's not really fast, but it's a really nice car to drive. There's no turbo in this vehicle, uh, but here it is. Very simple install. So all you have to do is replug this sensor here back in. Uh, then tighten up this screw after you fit the tube on and then There's a screw there. You got to put that in uh, To hold this whole intake in place and then for me personally um, I left this piece on that's where it gets the airflow So then it can get some of the cold air from outside the vehicle uh, to the intake to the filter uh, so that's what I did and let's do a few pulls and then we're gonna see what you guys think let me know how it sounds uh, but that's the engine bay excuse the wind it's a little windy out here in Texas uh, but that's what it looks like so far the engine cold air intake all right so let's get the hood down and I'm gonna do a few pulls so this is how it sounds in the cabin uh, nothing right now when you're at a couple thousand rpms but let me pull up ahead a little bit more all right so right now i'm driving on the frontage and 
you don't hear too much of a difference until you actually step on it. So it's not necessarily of how fast you're going. You can be going pretty slow or really fast, but when you're stepping on it and it has a hard, higher uh, RPMs, you're gonna really hear it. So let me uh, get back on the highway after I get around this loop here. All right, this is the engine cold air intake for the IS350. So yeah, I like it. Uh, you probably can't hear it in the cabin here, but if I do get to higher RPMs, you can hear it. So let me downshift. So right here, you can see I'm going 17 miles per hour. So when I step on it, you'll hear a difference. So you can intentionally make the noise so you can hear the coder intake. It's just on how you step on it. So I'm back at the house, you guys. Like I mentioned in a couple other videos, it gets really, really dark here in Texas pretty quick. But I don't think the audio picked up on the sound of the intake. Because when you're, when you're in the cabin, you do hear it. So it makes a big, big difference. But that's why I did um, the, the short clips afterwards with my engine bay open so you guys can actually hear it. Um, and it, it does sound different from the OEM. And if you're looking for a cold air intake, I recommend the engine. I've heard the Takeda is really nice as well. Uh, but me, for me personally, I love it. And when I did install it, I noticed a difference right away. Uh, so I do recommend it, even if you have um, an IS-250 or an IS-300, because they have a turbo, I believe, too, in the IS-250, so it's going to sound a lot different. But for me, I have the 350, and the fact that it is a V6, it makes it sound even more aggressive from the engine. You know, but you you guys let me know. What do you think of the engine cold air intake? Comment below, uh, like, subscribe, share. I appreciate you guys tuning in and I'll catch you on the next video. I'm excited for what's to come. I'm gonna be dishing out more content, but yeah, comment, like, subscribe. See you guys on the next video.